Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome back to my Monday Profile series. Today we are going to look at one of the new acquisitions that will be going into my 75 gallon Ambuna Aquarium following a short quarantine. These little cichlids are juveniles. They haven't colored up yet, but you'll get the idea. They are going to be stunning. They are called the Afra Cichlid, so please stay tuned. This is one of the new additions I picked up last week. As you can see, they are all juveniles. They haven't fully colored up yet, but I do enjoy purchasing my cichlids at this size of under 3 inches so I can appreciate each stage of development in their colors, learning about hierarchy, dominance, and finding their place within an established community. The Afro cichlid has a few names it's referred to within the fish keeping hobby. Some of the other names you will hear them called are the Red Top Afra, the White Top Afra, Edwardi Afra, the Blue Reef, the Lion's Cove, and the Dog Tooth. These extraordinary cichlids are endemic to Lake Malawi of Eastern Africa and the Rift Valley. They are primarily found in the rocky northern shores of the lake. They prefer the upper areas of the water column, staying among the rocks and away from the sandy substrate. Most often found in water 6 to 65 feet deep, these cichlids have no known threat being listed on the red list as LC, meaning least concern. This handsome cichlid has a longer muscular body. They are not large in boon and maturing at 5 inches in length with a lifespan of 7 to 10 years depending on their care. Their stunning coloration depends on what range they are from within the northern areas of Lake Malawi. You will see everything from violet, light blues, darker blues, yellows, complete with black vertical bands running down the side of their bodies. The males have the ability to change color according to their moods. The black bars can even disappear completely or become very pronounced. The males can turn their heads and backs into a dark golden yellow, all again depending on what they are displaying for, such as dominance, anger, fear, breeding, and so on. The females are not usually as bright as the males, but some do have the ability to show colors just as spectacular as their counterparts. The juveniles are similar to the females until they mature. The female can be solitary or move in groups, surviving primarily on plankton as their main food source, staying in the open waters, while the males stay close to their home, defending their territory, eating the stringy algae and whatever may be living in it, such as insect larvae, crustaceans, gastropods, mites, and zooplankton. In an aquarium setting, they do well on pellets or flakes specifically tailored to the omnivore, incorporating a variety of supplements such as spirulina, brine shrimp, other frozen foods along with fresh veggies, you will have healthy, happy ambuna. As most ambuna, they are good eaters and will overeat if allowed. It's suggested to feed a few times a day, making their portions smaller, as they will eat until their bellies are distended. If you are only planning on homing a pair, a 30 gallon aquarium is sufficient. A breeding group of one male and three females will need a 55 gallon, and a community setting would require nothing less than 75 gallons. Of course, bigger is always better. The setup should include sandy substrate with plenty of rocks creating caves, crevices, and swim-throughs, leaving plenty of space for open water swimming. Tough plants are fine for these cichlids as they won't bother with them. 
The Afro Cichlid is not overly aggressive if given adequate room. It can be kept with other Ambuna, but not tropical community fish. They can become more aggressive when defending a territory or during breeding. They are mouth brooders having small broods of not more than 20 eggs, which the females will pick up in their mouth and incubate for up to 21 days. They will then release their free-swimming fry, watching over them for a few more days. The babies will quickly learn to hide from danger and be able to eat finely powdered fry food immediately. The Afro Cichlid is truly a stunning fish and will enhance any cichlid community. As you can see, mine are still quite drab, but I'm very excited to see them develop their colors. I'll be adding this group soon to my 75 gallon Ambuna community. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter weekend and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.